Hello everyone, Speeder152 here, and we have yet another Transformers toy review, or unbox a bot as I like to call it. We're looking at the Studio Series Gamer Edition Bumblebee figure. As you can see, this figure is clearly based on the th Bumblebee from Warper Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron. Baggage looks a little roughed up, but that tends to happen with Transformers packaging. And it's not really the worst I've seen. I've seen I've seen one that was really bad. But nevertheless, let's get this thing open. Because this Bumblebee figure uses the same body type as Cliff Jumper. I'm not going to really need the manual. It comes with a uh, really cool stand here. I think this one actually differs from the Cliff Jumper figure. I think this is supposed to represent the Decagon or something. I'm not sure. Nonetheless, let's. Here we have Bumblebee. Not as yellow as some other Bumblebees I know. I mean, look at this one, for example. What? It's very accurate to the game. One thing that I've noticed that the uh, Gamer Edition figures have is the detachable arm here. You can replace it with one of the weapons that come in with these figures. With Bumblebee and Cliffjumper, they have a plasma cannon and a photon burst rifle. At least I think that's what it is. It could be an Energon Battle Pistol. He also comes with an energy blade here.
Some things should know though that not all figures are made the same. They may have little quirks on them. It's just showing off a bit of the detail on this figure. Obviously, it's not the exact same. The head sculpt, for example, is different from Cliff Jumpers. Uh, but, yeah. Considering that I... Let's get to transforming this guy. Sometimes you gotta be careful, or else you might snap a limb off. Whoops. See what I mean? And here is Bumblebee in vehicle mode. A Cybertronian car of sorts. Likely to mimic his G1 appearance, only more slick. Bumblebee did have a Cybertronian alt mode in the G1 cartoon, but it didn't really look like this. You can also stick the weapons on certain notches here. It also has reddish-orange highlights to signify that he's an Autobot. In the games, Autobots and Decepticons had different Energon colors. Autobots were red and Decepticons are purple. Also, the thing about the interchangeable weapons, uh, they don't actually hold them in their hands. They, their arms actually transform into that weapon. So that was a nice little detail. And I think the mounted weapon is supposed to represent the fact that they also have their own vehicle weapons, but that could be a coincidence. 
but yeah, that'll be all for today. Until then, fare thee well.